Hi everyone! In this video I will show you the easiest way to set up Wi-Fi network on Asus Zen Wi-Fi BT10. Let's get into it right now. First off, you need to connect your Zen unit to your internet source. In some cases this is a modem and in some cases this is just LAN socket in the wall, which means your modem is hidden somewhere in technical room by your ISP and the LAN sockets in the walls are just distributing the internet from the modem. So you need to locate your internet source and connect your Zen unit to it. Uh, you have two WAN ports. WAN means internet input, in other words. Uh, so uh, the left one is 1 gigabit speed, the right one is 10 gigabit speed. So depending on your internet speed connects the Ethernet cable to one of these ports. Keep in mind, 10 gigabit is bandwidth, not the actual data transfer speed. So if you have slower internet, uh, 10 gigabit port will not help you to e increase the speed. Um, also, uh, the second port free of internet connection, let's say you connect it to 10 gigabit port, the second blue labeled port can be used as uh, LAN output, same as a yellow labeled one. So you can connect access points, smart TVs, gaming consoles and so on to these ports and computers as well. Uh, so connect the Ethernet cable to one of these ports and the second end of this cable connect to the output on your modem. This is just a rotor, just imagine this is a modem. So you need to establish connection just like this. Next, power on your Zen unit. I mean, connect it to a power source and don't forget to press the power button. Uh, if you use more than one unit, this one will, will be the main unit connected to the internet and other units will be uh, like repeaters. So uh, if you want to set up uh, all at once, you need to power them on together in one room, first of all, and then you can place uh, secondary units in other rooms. So what you need is wait until the power indicator to start glow solid green and then you can start connection on your mobile device. Uh, oh sorry for distraction, I told you solid green, actually it should be solid blue. So uh, the router is ready to set up and you need Asus router application in your smartphone. It's available both for iOS and Android devices, so get it from your respective application store and open the app. On the first screen, scroll all the way down and check this checkbox. I'm about the age of 16 years, agree, agree to this privacy notice and about 10 seconds for the welcome screen. Allow to find devices on local networks, this is necessary, so hit allow and allow to use your location while use, using app. And just tap on Setup, select ASUS and Wi-Fi Series and find your BT10. Here it is. Uh, now you can enable camera and scan or uh, connect uh, your smartphone manually to the router setup network. All information you can find over here. So here is your SSID or in other words network name and here is this QR code. Let's enable camera and scan. Allow access to camera and fit this QR code to the yellow square and join to the setup network. Searching for ASUS router, just wait. So your uh, Zen unit is found, all you have to do is tap on get started. You don't need advanced settings in this case, everything is going to be automatically. Now it's detecting your internet connection status, so make sure uh, you have an internet access in your modem. If you have special requirements from your ISP, check this checkbox and select a requirement, but uh, otherwise just hit next. And finally, create your Wi-Fi network name and password. So let it be just Asus Zen for this example. Name your network as you wish and simple password but you can create a stronger one. Hit done. Also, as you can see, you can separate Wi-Fi network. What it means, you can separate 6G, 5G and 2.4G networks, but I prefer seamless coverage because in this case, if you don't separate your network, your devices will connect at the best network at the highest possible speed, so it works just better. Then hit next. 
Uh, also, you can create uh, IoT network for smart devices like fridges, uh, smart cameras, and so on. Uh, and you can create different passwords for this network or just leave it like this. And uh, set up local login account. Uh, this means your admin username and password to manage your device from another smartphone or, or web interface and so on. So let it be just admin. And also let's create simple password. And you need to confirm your password in the next field. Done and next. Uh, this is a warning about weak password, but for this example, we are okay. Just hit yes, and it's setting up your network. The indicator is changed. New firmware available, you can update it right now or do it later. But um, I don't see a reason to wait. Just update your firmware to use the latest version. Now you see the indicator starts glowing green again, but um, don't mind. Just, just wait for this line to fill. Now Asus Rotor application wants to create your newly created network. So let it do this. And it's optimizing the network, whatever it means. So here is your summary, Wi-Fi name and password, IoT Wi-Fi name and password, and admin username and password. Write down this information if you need and tap on finish. The whole process taken uh, about 10 minutes with my explanations. Uh, enable notifications if you want or cancel so far you can enable anytime a remote connection is uh, an opportunity to manage your router from uh, any place uh, in the world if you have an asus account so don't allow notifications so far and skip remote connection because uh, we are not logged into asus account you can do it here anytime login and enable remote connection and manage parental controls router settings and so on and this is the home screen of your asus rotor application let me briefly walk you through the main sections so wireless section wi-fi icon tap on wi-fi icon and tap on the screen and here you can manage your wireless settings like uh, change password change network name uh, enable and disable wi-fi bands manage security settings and so on let's go back to the home screen uh, next in the middle the home icon here is your network configuration so you can see your main unit connected to the internet and if you setting up secondary units like satellites they will be connected in on this screen to your main uh, rotor gear icon at the bottom right is the settings menu here you can find all the settings including wireless and uh, network configuration so you can set up parental controls quality of service uh, LAN settings internet settings and so on upgrade your firmware reset your system uh, and many many other settings which are not the topic of this video keep in mind when you setting up mesh network i mean you setting up main unit and connected uh, wireless extenders from asus zen you don't have to buy the same units all the time uh, you can combine different models of asus zen for example you don't need very fast internet for kids they just watching movies uh, so you can buy cheaper model but keep in mind your main unit must be the most powerful guy in your system connected to the internet that's pretty it, guys your system is up and running uh, i hope this was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button to support us any questions comment below and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys